What's up guys, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. I'm Adrian, and it's day 16. I'm super excited. The mantra today is awesome. I enjoy. Giddy up. Okay, today we're going to begin in extended child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as your yoga mat, big toes to touch, and then walk your hands out. Ah, finally, our yoga practice. Here we are. So today's practice is short and sweet. The mantra is, I enjoy. So as you settle into your little cave here, spread the palms wide with awareness. Tug the shoulders back just a little bit. Melt the heart. So just notice if you're gripping anywhere around the chest or the shoulders. Um, by going through your checklist. Close your eyes, begin to deepen the breath and say to yourself either out loud or in your mind, I enjoy. If that doesn't hit the spot, then maybe shift it around a bit. I choose to enjoy. I choose to enjoy this practice. I choose to enjoy my day. I choose to enjoy the struggles even that life throws at me. What I've chosen today is I choose to enjoy the ride. Because it's day 16 and I just got my license. <laughs> now I'm going to enjoy the ride. Okay. Slowly rocking the head a little side to side. Keep it nice and slow, massaging through the brow bone here. Stimulating that third eye, if you will. And then bring it back to center. Again, say to yourself, I enjoy. Or I choose to enjoy. And then moving in a circle, inhale slowly. Press into the palms, come forward. Exhale around and back. If it feels good to curl the toes here, please do. If it feels good to open the eyes, please do. Spread the palms. Enjoy the sensations in the body. Get in there, shine some light in the dark places. Reverse your circle. Find what feels good here. And then when you feel satisfied, send it all the way back. Child's pose. Big breath in here. Enjoy a nice exhale out through the mouth. Good. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, come back up. We'll walk the fingertips out just a hair here. Press into the tops of the feet. And then inhale, rock the pelvis, tailbone up towards the sky, reach your finger, what fingertips? Right fingertips forward. And then on an exhale, keep the tailbone reaching towards the sky as you thread the needle here. Right arm comes underneath the bridge of the left arm. We come to rest on the right ear here and we choose to enjoy pressing left palm into the earth if that feels good. Maybe reaching left arm towards the sky. Maybe wrapping around for a bind. Maybe left palm on the sacrum here. Breathe, press into the tops of the feet. And then gently unravel, smile, take it to the other side. Tailbone up towards the sky, left fingertips reach, stretch through the left side body, and then here we go, threading the needle here. Resting on the left ear, pressing into the tops of the feet. This helps protect the knees, so staying nice and aware in the toes and the tops of the feet always. Finding what feels good. You can close the eyes here, or you might open your eyes and enjoy the view. The art that displays itself in the everyday. That's one another reason I love yoga. It's just I tend to enjoy my life more, I think, than most people because I'm awake to that beautiful, like, I can't, 
can't remember the, that type of green, but it's like a neon green leaf amongst a bunch of brown leaves right against this blue backdrop. See, anyway, maybe I'm crazy. Pressing into the tops of the feet, come back to center. And before we come off the knees here, we're gonna turn the right fingertips in, press away from your yoga mat, breathe. And then bringing right fingertips back, left palm round, press. And then bringing the left fingertips back, walking the knees in, back underneath the hip points and sending it to your down dog. Press into the index finger and thumb, send the hips up high. Big breaths here. Stretching through the side body, stretching through the legs. And then slowly lowering down. Awesome. Cross the ankles, use your palms to walk yourself through. Yay. And we'll come to a nice cross-legged position. Sorry. Palms to the tops of the thighs or the knees. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, grounding shoulders down, elbows down. Right ear over right shoulder. Close your eyes, maybe repeat the mantra. And then left ear over left shoulder. Repeat the mantra. Great, inhale back to center. We'll unravel the legs, toes are pointing forward. We swim the fingertips back, fingertips towards the heels here towards the front edge of your mat. I'm gonna loop the shoulders and inhale, lift up to a table. Make sure your palms are wide enough so that you can press in all 10 knuckles firmly. Lifting hip points up, inhale. Press in all four corners of the feet and then exhale, slowly lowering down. Two more just like that, you gotta inhale, lift. Hugging the elbows in, lifting, lengthening through the crown. Breathe. And let's check out one more. If that's too much on the wrist, you maybe use your one more to do through all our arms. Just checking it out. Ooh, my arms, yeah. And then release, great. Take a second to just catch your breath here, hook the elbows on the knees. Maybe it's more neck circles. Maybe it's creaky old floor. Cool, and then we'll cross the ankles, come back to all fours. So keeping it nice and low to the ground today, pay attention to your foundation. Press away from your yoga mat. We wanna build, so we're not doing any planks today, yay, but we wanna build just a little heat, a little fire in the belly. So press away from your yoga mat and let the knees hover. Lengthen from the crown of the head, press away from the earth. Big breath in, big breath out. One more breath here, inhale in, draw the lower belly in. And exhale, release. Awesome. So I'm gonna send the right toes out, find that stretch. Extension through the right leg, sit bone to heel connection. Then stay firm in your foundation as you trace in line with your right toes all the way over towards the left. And take your head and bring it over towards the left side of your mat. Crown of the head extends. Maybe you take a look at your right heel, breathe. Last but not least, actively draw the right shoulder down and away. Press into all 10 fingerprints evenly, even that pinky. And then slowly back to center. And same thing on the other side. Stretch it out, sit bone to heel connection. And then tracing, big semicircle over towards the right side of the mat. Pressing away, so if you're collapsed here, this is Kind of poo-pooey. Press away from your yoga mat. Soft bend in the elbows, especially if you tend to lock in the elbows. If you're flexible there, then soft bend. Press into all 10 fingerprints. Maybe take a look back at your left heel. Strong, strong, strong. And then softly release. Great. Drop the elbows where the hands are. And then curl the toes under and send it back. From here, forehead kisses the mat and wrist relief. Bring the palms together up and overhead, little namaste shark fin. If this is too much for the feet at this moment, 
Come off the toes, send it back. Maybe walk the elbows a little forward. Maybe you move the fingers here, rotate the wrists. Slowly release the fingertips down, palms down. Inhale, carve a line with your nose, look forward. Exhale, slide into home. <laughs> Probably gonna regret that. I've never done that before, that's fun. Okay, we come to a little slumber party shape here. Bend the knees, just come onto your elbows here and kick the feet, stretching through the crop. Quads. And then release the hands back down, draw the shoulders away from the ears, and then we're gonna slowly re uh, reach the left toes back, so straighten through your left leg, and then right knee's gonna bend up here. It's got a half, half froggy pose here. So stay here and see if you can grow a little bit tall through the spine. So think sphinx in the arms. And breathing here, this will be easier for some than others depending on your hips. And then walk the right hand out. And we're gonna turn the left fingertips and then we're gonna thread the needle again here. Here we go. This can be a little tricky on the video, but you'll get it, here we go. Threading the needle, left fingertips in and underneath the bridge of the right arm. And then we open up, right fingertips out and we enjoy this move. You can center yourself on the mat if you like, come into your twist, I enjoy. Close your eyes, couple soft, loving breaths here. So good for the body, so good for the mind, so good for your soul, I think. Just taking away some of that ache, filling some of that space with a little consciousness and a little love. Draw the right toes down, reach both fingertips up. This is like a Martha Graham move here. Ah, belly flop, as graceful as you can. Back to center, same thing on the other side. So think sphinx arms, extend the right toes, right leg out long, and then slide the left knee, bend the left knee, slide it up. And press away from your foundation, find that length through the crown of the head. Breathe. What we're doing is so good, so good for the body. I'm just, I'm enjoying this so much. Press into the left palm, and then here we go, threading the needle again. Right fingertips come underneath the bridge of the left arm, and we open up, enjoy. Ah. Opening up through the left wing this time, we come into our twist. Feel free to center yourself on the mat. If you have a hoodie, this is even more enjoyable. I don't know why I'm not wearing this. Oh yeah, now we're talking. What is it about a hoodie that's just so <laughs> comforting? Tell me. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths here. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. And then this time we're just gonna come to flat back. So extend the left toes out. Reach the arms up and overhead. Center yourself on the mat. Nice full body stretch here. Inhale in, exhale, release everything. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to do today, something you would enjoy in your body, maybe it's a pranayama practice. Take this opportunity now to fulfill that, otherwise we take a second to release everything and enjoy a moment where you give yourself permission to do absolutely nothing. Just a moment even. Just give yourself permission here now to do absolutely nothing. What does that feel like? Can you just enjoy a full, a full on release? Let go.
All we can do is do our best, tend to it, and try to enjoy. Awesome work, I'll see you tomorrow. Take good care, namaste. Thank you.